Hi guys, welcome to this video about how to install Arclix D. The Arclix D ISO is one that's super interesting because it has all the possibilities, but it's not for the beginners, right? There is a, some kind of uh, learning path that we recommend, and that's way back in, in phase six or seven. So the installation of ISOs, of Arclix, the 30 ISOs we have now, is documented in the link installation. That's the Arclinx D. There is also the Arclinx ISO, and that's documented in here, installation. So two videos, one for the XL, the XS, XS, LLTS, and one for Arclinx and all the Bs, basically, and one for D. Specifically D, because it is really, well, it's a different way of thinking, I think a different way of, of doing things. It's either you do nothing, you select nothing in Calamaris, or you start selecting and choosing. But for selecting and choosing, that requires notch experience. What to select, what not to select. So that's always a matter of notch. So this is the video that we're gonna make and we're gonna replace it with the new ISO that's coming pretty soon now. Arclinx D version 220109. When we boot this up, we got selections. Nothing has changed with previous videos, but we're using this information to change our Calamars later on. If you choose open source, that really means drivers not coming from a company. They call it non-proprietary drivers. So open source is uh, containing Intel, AMD and NVIDIA open source. And this line, we are having all the open source except, except the one for the Nouveau drivers, which equals the open source NVIDIA drivers. So we get rid of that. The idea is there that we use um, this possibility because we've got feedback of users, we need that to be gone. When we boot up, Nouveau drivers can't be there. So, okay, fine. So in this case, Nouveau driver will not be there, will not be present. So this is all open, and this is coming from nvidia.com. So proprietary drivers, not coming from Linux, but coming from the website, basically, nvidia.com drivers. Now, these two guys provide the general NVIDIA. We provide with in this ISO NVIDIA DKMS. That's different. In November, we had NVIDIA, NVIDIA LTS. We can still do that. That's later on. By default, it is NVIDIA DKMS. The thing is, if we give you DKMS, you'll probably end less in a black screen. DKMS adapts if you change the Linux kernel to LTS, to Zen, to Harden, if there is an update of a kernel, it still will build all the references and it will make sure that you have an NVIDIA later on after rebooting. So that sounded good. That's why we went to DKMS. So these are proprietary things, but only, there we go again, for the new hardware. There is also old hardware there and that's later to be solved later 340 390 470 drivers that you may need on your hardware you need to figure it out on arch wiki nvidia and then there's the last one that's no mode Is everything work does not work none of these options work i'll check out no mode set you can google that and uh, many of the distributions on linux do that and say whatever right we don't look at all the drivers we just go for um, well a plain small window that it will get and hopefully you can boot up and install it that way and then later install the drivers so choosing here matters because what we've done if you say one of these two lines basically you're saying i don't care i want to have open source and i don't need nvidia here and this line it says you need nvidia here so that's why we have changed our ISOs in that manner that in here you will not see the NVIDIA choice in Calamaris anymore and in here you will see the choice of NVIDIA because you chose 
to have that. Okay, so that's the main difference. And since this is VirtualBox, I just boot up and then um, use number line, line number one. So Nouveau drivers are there and will not hinder us in any way. And we'll boot up. So there we are. Now this article XD thing is a bit specific in the sense that I like the idea we had in the past with Antergos Base. Antergos Base gives you a black screen. Some people like an empty slate. Like a Lego, you have this red slate on the ground and you start building up. That's basically it. The other thing is the advanced installation, say, Give me SDDM, give me Bluetooth, give me printers, and give me Mate. Voila. And you have you rely on somebody else to handpick all the pieces, the Lego blocks, and you boot up and you got Mate. In the other way, in the base installation, nothing has been selected. And it's a very, very simple installation. The one you see on many distros, but in this case, it ends with zero display manager, no LightDM, no SDM, and zero desktop. So the standard choices to create, and that's that. Done. And then it's up to you to do sudo pipe minus s SDM, enable it, and install a desktop. The other option is the advanced installation, where you decide the language, okay, decide the kernels okay then you decide the open source things remember we chose open source so the next slide the next uh, thing is not nvidia nvidia is not included since you chose for open source then we don't go for the nvidia proprietary drivers so that's not available not here and the rest goes in here, Bluetooth and all the rest. You know the drill. You have a new um, display manager or login manager. Choose any of the 25 desktops you want to have. And then all the applications we provide you can be selected here. We've made beautiful art themes and uh, more wallpapers and so on. You can select them. In this case, Arclinx D, right? It's meant to be super, super based, super, super minimal. So you need really need to have internet. That's one thing. If you don't have internet, ha, nothing will be downloaded. This is not on the ISO. So this is not a I'm sit on the beach and I'll install this thing. No. Arclinx B, you get something. You, you end up with Awesome or you end up with PSPWM. And Arclinx XL, you end up with XFCE, XS, you XFCE, XS, LTS, XFCE. So basically, put it in your mind, Arclinx D is a net install ISO. You can install it, and what you see is, is what you get, I always say. In this case, we remove the parts and bits that you see here, XFCE bits, it's all gone. It is meant to be a super base installation, and you need to have internet. If, if, if you want to go to the advanced, right? If you go to the base installation, there is no internet required. <laughs> but just remember, it's a base installation. It's a black screen. And that's the point. Having a red, big Lego slate, and then you build it up. You go to the internet and say, hmm, I'd like to have plasma today. Pseudo Pac-Man minus S plasma. And include SDM with it, etc., etc. You build it up. That's the beauty of it all. Software, you choose the software you like. This kind of workflow thing. Maybe it makes sense to make it a big, big, a big a bigger, a bit bigger. <laughs> Peter Pipe a bit. A pack of bigger peppers. What was it again? Or she sells seashells at the seashore. Things like that. The tongue twisters. Always fun. Betty bought a bit of butter. So all these things, new things also for accessibility, utilities, HP lib is there, 
some some things have been improved and basically guys this is because you tell me right this is because somebody took the effort to write a text could you include it well it's included just tell me printing utilities hp lib it's there just tell me what you need and you can just click it and install it so lots of things go and have a look and in the end after a few years you know exactly what you want and you've made your own workflow so like if i do it like this i won't get much right so let's go back let's pretend to do an installation so i want to go for an advanced installation linux kernel is installed by default don't want any other don't mind this is already installed on my iso it is on your iso you don't need to get it you only get the latest version it will only take more downloads etc this i can decide this later but uh, maybe sound makes sense that you install sound already next login manager all our 25 desktops work with SDM. that we know that we've tested two days ago i've tested 60 installations right twice all our isos twice it works as and here we have a choice i don't know choose i've chosen and then next choose what you want here right some of the things are already installed some of the things are not installed it really depends what iso you have but if you click it you've got it you need you will install it calamaris will tell oh he selected it there is internet so i can install it well download it install it. so let's take the sky for example beautiful have a look sky is eh, the sky is blue it's all kind of blues i hope the sky is blue in belgium more than time is gray by the way okay why well, exceptions and you keep on selecting everything you select comes from the internet if you got internet belgium next erase choose whatever you want to choose next there's quite a drop down here quite some choices and that's fine x4 has merits his hers its credits here well we're done installing the thing will do its bit now this thing is 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 great because articles d is so small the number of packages it needs to unsquash unpack is is not minute but it's it's small right so the installation goes quicker but then again if you start selecting things well it needs to download if you what do you have a fast internet okay that's your bottleneck we have a broken internet people often say to me eric it's not installed but if there's a broken internet intermittent working right sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't well it won't install it simple as that we'll skip it say okay not successful and be going to the next one so let's wait for the installation all right we're back it's installed what have I installed? One of the things that's also new is that we've automatically activated SDM, GDM, LightDM, LXDM, or Li. So when I boot up, I got this nice grub, and then it kicks in. The display manager is there. We've done a auto login. So voila, we're on i3, control T. Welcome on i3, ISO. That's the ISO we used, and that will never change. We started with that, and we keep on rolling. We keep on updating. Let's see if Harsh Links is already there with some updates, right? That's like. And now we say yes. We update everything. Super X to have a look what we've selected. That's actually also new, the Broadcom WL it's a dkms version so whatever kernel you're using it's gonna be working and the same for the real tech driver there r81 or 8168 and um, that will take a little bit longer 
So, what I do is, I don't have broadcan WM, WL, and I don't have the other one. I just say pseudo pacman minus R, bye, and I remove them after a clean install. But they are there, of course, to help other people get to the wireless and get to 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 yeah, to be connected to the world, basically. So super X, logging out, and then you know what display manager you're using. And here you see it's just the one thing that we've installed because why not combine it with also more BSP, WR, more XFCE and have a fallback, right? Something desktop-like and something tiling with a manager like is maybe better to get to know uh, your system gradually and can always fall back uh, to, to XFCE. For, this, for instance, a tip guys, Qtil, Qtile and Xmona. Both needs to be compiled to be built. People get stuck. And if you only have Xmona and only have Qtile, that's it. You're in, in the TTY, it's all black. If you have XFCE, you can go there and go open the folders and the files and Sublime Text and Meld, and you can work until Xmona works again or Qtile works again, and then you boot back into it. Just a tip. All right, enjoy Arklings D.